does it feel to be here today at BravoCon? Amazing. amazing. So good. So good. Gertie. Ladies, you are all here today because of BravoCon. If you guys didn't do The Real Housewife of Miami, do you think your life would have been different? Oh my no. God, of course. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to be walk down the halls of the hospital and have people say, Dr. Nicole! You, the fans have been absolutely amazing. Yes, give it up for the fans. <laughs> for sure brought so many opportunities for my business and my soon-to-be ex's business. Uh, you know, Leave him in the past. Right. It's okay. Get to that in the <laughs> now, now, let's pace ourselves. <laughs> well, I think for some of you, of course, will have remained the same because in your case, Nicole, you are a doctor. And Gary, you have your company, and Alessia has uh, your beauty salon. So you still will be doing great stuff in your life. And Larsa, you have your jewelry company. I check it out, girls. Thank Send you. Send me some stuff. I will, I will for sure. <laughs> so you girls just finished filming season five a few months back. What can you say about it? Spicy. Don't look at me. Dramatic. Let's start with the OG. Sugar and spice and everything not so nice. <laughs> Why is, is anyone in the sofa nice. speaking? It's, it's Do we have permission to speak? Yes. Please speak, Alexia, please. Okay. No, so how would you describe the season? Fire. Oh, now you're the host. Yeah. She's the host. I think, you know, it's been Fuego, fire. fire. I think for each and every one of us, it's always different every season. And, um, you know, for me, it's a very happy one because I got to celebrate with my husband and my friends and family. Woo! Finally. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, if you're in my life, there's always things going on in my life. Remember, my life is like a telenovela, so you'll continue to see a lot of my family, which is a very big part of my life. As for me, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to show my life more, to show my life with Martina, with my wife. And I am, thank you, guys. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to shine the light on our family, how we live, and just say, like, life have no, life have no gender, and we're just here to celebrate each other, celebrate love, and the show gave me this opportunity to show it to you. Yeah! I'm so excited that, um, feeling the love of you guys, feeling the rush from Miami, yay! Yeah. <laughs> and this season around, you're gonna feel fire because there's a new song coming out, so there's more to come, and I hope you have fun. <laughs> and Larsa is gonna be like, do a camera on my video. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure about that, but maybe. Um, You're gonna have to pay her a lot of money. Are you willing to do that? Oh, I don't do you know. 10,000 a day. Uh, you, you know what, I, I feel like free. this season for me was really about bonding with the women and just basically being open to new relationships. I didn't get that memo. Mm -hmm. uh, You didn't reciprocate that to me, but I feel like in general, I love you, but you know me, I you love, love you, her, but, but I feel like in life, like relationships and bonding and growing every day for me was like really important. And this season for me, you know, was based on like learning who my real friends are. Larsa, why did Nicole say, but? She's, she's got new, a big butt. She's, <laughs> she's new in the cast. Right. And, how can you welcome her like that with this thing no, that's going I feel on? No, like, I feel like she's never invited me to one thing. She has, she, she invited everyone here on her Larsa private Larsa, me either. I have me either. Her. One at a time. time. One she, at a time. She literally invited everyone here, you guys, on her private plane except me. I was the only one left off the text and message. And she dis disinvited you somewhere and else as well. And she disinvited me. So it's like, how can we be friends when you You said my me? plane was too small. Oh, well, it I is. Well, when I wasn't invited, it when is. I wasn't invited, what else I was can't. I going to say? Like, I she can't. uninvited me to her engagement party. She didn't invite me here, you guys, to New York, knowing she kind of needed me to be here. So it's like... Nicole, who came on the plane with you? I actually invited everyone except it's Larsa and Marisol because I know they don't like small planes. No. You guys have told me before. No, I don't. I don't want to live in a watery, die in a watery grave. I do not. I just want a plane. Uh, Marisol, I don't get it. Not everybody has the luxury to want a plane. So you came on Delta? I came oh, commercial. I came commercial. I, I'm rather be you safe. Guys, I only I'm like very the nervous. I need to be safe. I like you know, to it's fly really uncomfortable like, sometimes to, to travel like in a plane together when some of the girls know that they're not in such a great place. 
Were you right. in that plane, Adriana? I was in the plane, Alexia. Okay, well, that may be. That's why I was not there. <laughs> oh. Wow. Starting but, from the okay, beginning. But, but, thank but, you, Alexia. thank you, Nicole, for inviting me because she's always kind to me. I know you, you do. I was invited. But, but, wait, 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 wait. No, I have so, to. I have to answer Alexia because we've been friends I, I, forever. Okay, but well. we have a little problem going on. And well, you always have a problem going on with uh, everybody. Let's clear it up here. But uh, what talking about invitation, the only time that you invited us to your house was to scold us and make us like feel so uncomfortable. So I, I feel like invitation, that. I better be I disinvited to that. I don't know that because I don't invite people to my home to do that. So <laughs> well, maybe you we might have felt see. that way, except you guys disrespected we, my home. Oh, so we no, shall see. Yeah, really. there was a lot of disrespecting yeah, at your really, house that day. Really, a really. lot of disrespecting that not day. Not really. Yeah. I guess we're going to have to tune in to see who maybe, maybe, side are you on. Maybe this season we're going to learn a thing or two about boundaries. It's really important in life. Good luck with that. Adriana. You have you having problem with the majority of them, and you think with that's incorrect. Julia, I want to know. That's incorrect. I want to. I watch the show, so yeah, I know, girl. Thank you, Jennifer. I know. But, no, but, but, but I baby, know. Thank you, Jennifer. You're not in my heart. You're not in my heart. <laughs> not in your heart. You watch but the edited version of it. This is what everybody's seeing on the show, right? So we want to fix it here right now. What's going on with these ladies? Are we continuing that on season five or what? I've, I've been Alice Trans, Marcel, and Alexia. We have a huge history. I'm, I absolutely love Nicole, absolutely love Gertie, absolutely love Lisa. Do you know what the word love is? I have okay. Yeah. Hey, you you, Larsa and I. <laughs> wait, 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 can you tell me? Larsa and I are working a relationship one set at a time, getting to a better spot. Okay. Absolutely love my bestie. And Alexia is always in my heart. Right, like so sister. wait, Adriana, That's it. who do you love the least? <laughs> the least. <laughs> I should have brought Elvis, my emotional support goat. I think yeah, we all need yeah. him now, but I didn't know that we need him so soon. I mean, we all know that last season, you know, Lars and I had our issues. So maybe last season was- Lots of issues. But yeah. what are the issues? I've never said one I, thing I mean, bad about you, that by was, the way. That was gone, babe. I mean, we're, we're moving forward. Aren't we? no, you know I'm what's next. funny? I feel You're like Adriana moving forward. Forward. Now she's on me. No, know, wait, but does happened. Adriana look more and more like me today? Yeah. Alexia, does she look more and more like me today? What do you mean? Does she look well? Oh, 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 is that shady? Oh, That's very shady. Oh, huh? her oh. hair color. Oh, You're okay. the only blonde in the world? No, okay, then. Time. All right, no, all right, you, all right. I feel like okay. you like to look like me. Uh, you're a gorgeous woman. There's it's nothing wrong with you. I mean, all of you are gorgeous. But before we leave Adriana alone, Gary, yes, why did you keep pushing the, the food massage on the table? Well, that was the past, and this is today. We're moving on to bigger pastures. But anyway, at that point, to be honest, I, was fe I felt that Adriana was pushing the buttons with me because I was being so nice, and I felt a little jealousy and shade coming her way, so I had to literally give her an umbrella what? and let her know what time it was. So the foot massage came, on the ta came as a topic on the table because, you know what, I wanted to poke the bear back. That's all. Do you think she was protecting Julia, or she didn't like your decoration? It was shade and jealousy. That's all it was. Jealousy of what? Of you? Of uh, your darling, company? Darling, have you seen this? Have you seen my man? Have you seen my life? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, the future is now, and you know what? I have no problems with Adriana as we stand today, um, but um, yeah. not to say the same thing about everybody else. Talking about friendship, Alessia, how do you and Marisol remain so close even if sometimes disagree with one another? It seems you always have each other's back. I feel like you have a lot to say. Yeah, yeah. Go. You're gonna have to watch to see whether you all think Marisol had my back or not. Oh! oh. Yeah, I'm feeling a certain kind of way, but I only have love for her. She's been my best friend for so many years in real life. You know, not the show life only. Obviously, the show life has made us stronger in our relationship and our friendship. But Marisol and I have been friends for 20 years. It's never, the show or nothing will destroy our friendship, and that's how I right. feel. Right. But you know, sometimes, 
you know, you, you fight like sisters and you fight like exactly. friends. Exactly. And, you know, and I feel like she needs to step it up and defend me a little bit more, even though I need no one to defend me. You I don't need anybody. Do look, I look at Alexia and, you know, you can throw anything at her and she doesn't know it's coming and she's like a shoo, shoo, with a machete <laughs> cutting everyone down. I look at her, I'm like, she doesn't need any help. She's got this. So, but you no, know. No, pa meno. I've learned, you know, I guess like through life, you know, it's like. Yeah. Life gives You're a you, warrior. Like, I'm a warrior. So you're not a guerrera. I have to I have like no other choice. And so and I do it. And I feel like this yeah. season you have to watch because there's a lot of um, things you don't expect, right? Like between the friendships. And, um, you know, we're all obviously in a better place today. But then when we see it, I haven't seen the trailer, by the way. So when we see it today, we're going to see where we're at. Just the trailer! But, oh my God. We're just as excited as you guys are to watch the trailer for the first time. So we're gonna cry with you, we're gonna laugh with you, and we're gonna look at each other like, you said that? So anyways, you know, I hope you enjoy it. You say you are a worker. You're often going through battles in your life with Frankie, and now you lost your mom. How do you feel? Who do you think was close to you during that moment and real to you? Well, um, so, my mom's passing and Frankie's accident are two different things, you know, because my mom lived a long and healthy life. And she had a beautiful life that I got to share with her for so many years. And I think about her every day, but I'd rather remember her with like a happy memory and healthy than, you know, see her deteriorate like I was seeing her. And, you know, and it was her time. So I try to focus on the positive and all the beautiful moments and everything my mom taught me in life, which was a lot. I do miss her every day. And, um, you know, Frankie's accident is, is your son. You know, when it's a son, it's completely different. And, um, you know, it's something that I'll never, you know, I've healed, but still today to talk about it brings tears to my eyes. And it's just like, it's hard for me. It's still hard very, for me after all these years. You're getting very emotional when you're speaking uh, about your mother. I know she was a very important uh, in your relationship with Todd, who's in the audience. Yes. Yes. Peter, your son, and Todd used to have a little issues, but Peter used to go up to your mom. Right. Who does, who does he seek that advice from now that your mother is no longer well? So we, we do miss my mom so much because she was a psychiatrist, and even though sometimes when you have a mom as a psychiatrist and she's analyzing you all the time, <laughs> we never listen to her. If I would have listened to my mom, and she used to tell me, all these people like pay me to give advice, and I give it to you for free, and you don't take it. Mm -hmm. So Nobody anyways, listens to their mothers. Right, but anyways, I do miss her, and we miss our conversations with her, Peter especially, that was so close to my mom. So now he thinks I'm his therapist. So I'm looking for any therapist that would like to help us in my family. And um, so that's what we do. And now his father's around more, so you know, you'll have to watch that as well. So, you know, I think it's important, you know, that they do have, you know, their mother, their father, I'm, you know, I'm a Latina woman, our family, you know, values and just being a family, whether it's dysfunctional, whether it works or doesn't or whatever you guys think. But at the end of the day, we have a lot of love for each other and support and, and that's how we live our life. You know, just for the family is the most important thing to us. Yeah. Lisa, my darling, talking about family, how are you dealing with everything going on in your life right now? Which other housewife have you leaned on the most during this difficult time? Wow, so this has been a hard one for me. Uh, when I signed up for the show, I wanted to show my life and I know that's why we all signed up for the show. And it was so fun for me for so many years and I thought the season was gonna be fun. And you know, halfway through some unexpected horrible life changes happened to me. And, um, you know, you'll have to see it to believe it. This is what helps me, you guys. Like, the, like the fans, the support, because people know what's happening. They, they read the news, you know, especially everyone that's here. So, I mean, it's kind of the cat's out of the bag, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like all of these women have been an amazing support to me. Like, it, we're a sisterhood, we really are, you know? Um, and in the beginning, you know, we had some, certain of, of us had some petty arguments. Like uh, my sleeping in know? the same room? And, and it wasn't me, you know, by the way, quickly, just that, saying. That quickly uh, changed once some real life <laughs> went down, you know? And then they came, 
they all gathered around and they were there supporting me like sisters do. We, we really are a team, you know? And these girls have been with me through thick and thin. I've known these girls for 10 years, two years, but it's all the same. And I could not have gotten through this without them. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Such a grateful woman. But you know this woman for 10 years, but you didn't want to sleep with them in the same room. Why, why was that? Oh, well, we shared okay. a bed. No, no, Very I have good. to say, look, Genesis, yeah, well, Genesis. I want to know. Genesis, okay. I, quiero no, saber, no, no. Dímelo, dímelo, no, mujer. No, look, you know what? These cash trips are intense, you know? It's like, I don't know, I'm breaking the fourth wall, but there's like 24 seven cameras and I like my space. I think we all like our space. Who doesn't like to have a little space? I want to go to the bathroom by myself. Me too, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Larsa got like, the house. <laughs> so you were making it a little bit difficult for Larsa. Uh, not really. Yes. I sent you the listing for the house. You knew how many bedrooms were in the house. Oh. Well, I wanted to, we won't go there. I wanted to be in your room, but something happened. I don't know what. Okay. Lisa, but, Lisa, Lisa, but, but you have to admit that that was a little childish yeah. of you. So, so I, Lisa, Lisa, you I shared a bed with me. I shared a bed with you, but it was a but big room. But it was Johnny Versace's bed for 10 dudes. It was a big room. Remember? We had, we had and a it was big for you and me. Lisa, own it. Just say that it was immature and childish of you, that you liked that, but it was like bratty of you to say that you weren't sharing a room with anyone else. No, no, no. I don't think so, because you know what? I'm a grown woman. Woman, and I like so to have my we. own space. So are so. we. We all need our own. Okay, but you, but you two are, super, you two are like sisters. And to be honest with you, at that time I wasn't so close to you. So then me and her were sharing this tiny little bed. We didn't really know each other. And then I Just came in the for the size of the arm. She came in, and yeah, we were like in we the maid's three room, women which is fine. in in a we were sleeping in the linen here, closet here. So <laughs> sorry. And you grow your like I don't roll like that. Do we roll like that? No. No, we no, share a pink bomb. I, I actually do because I know I know how yeah. to live in a mansion and I also li know how to live in a two bedroom apartment if I if I had to. Ooh, that's shady. So, right, like it's not shady, that's but it's the so truth. You're like, do you roll like that? Yeah, you know what? It was a girl's trip. We were having fun. No, but I did. But I did ask. In all fairness. With all due respect, I did ask if what the room situation was, and I didn't get an answer. I said, what is the room situation? But you never answer if your phone, my love. What? Ooh. You never answer your phone, my love. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That <laughs> never answer By the way, phone, when you love. get Lisa, when anyway. you get crickets, it means <laughs> freestyle. <laughs> Anyway, I'm team Lisa. Matter. I think it's, you're it's, right, it's, Lisa. This is, you're look. right, I hear you, I feel you. And That's then, right. by the way, you fought over the room, too. Hey, can, I did. Can we not, I'm sorry, I let's feel not you. forget the fact I feel that you, I feel you. I you fought the, room the hardest Julia. for the room. So it's all on me. Meanwhile, I'm on your side, babe. You guys on your fought side. the hardest for the room. So hey, let's strip naked to get into the sauce bag to get a better room. Okay, baby. you know what? It's, this is all petty. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore, this stuff. yeah. Well, since you like to sleep by yourself. The only room we want to know about is, like, whose room are you? sleeping in now because Lanny is like being such a jerk, right? What was that? We don't want to know anything about rooms except what jerk Lanny has been. So tell us about that. Well, I'm sleeping in the bed alone and, you know. Are you sure? You're not seeing someone no. right now? No. You deserve that. Why are you not giving yourself that chance? Well, I will. I want that. And when the right person comes along, I'm going to welcome it with open yeah. arms. So Woo! if you're out there, <laughs> slide in those DMs. Uh, talking about how you like to sleep alone, yeah. your house is incredible. Thank are you. Are you going to sell it? I'm sorry? Are you going to sell it? You and Lenny are going to sell it. Oh, no, he's, he's going to keep the house and have his parties and have his, you know, whatever what he does. Oh. Boo. 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 Sorry, yeah. Lenny. The crowd doesn't like you. Oy. I mean, Lisa, it looks like you and Lars have been spending a lot of time together. How is your friendship now? She is amazing. She's one of my best friends. We spend so much time together. Um, I honestly want to spend time with, with everybody, but what, since all of this happened in my life, I've been so like, occupied with the divorce and keeping the kids happy, making sure they're okay, you know, trying to focus on the show and businesses. It's, it's a lot. So it, it's hard to, you know, like, and all of us have been so busy. They were away on the girls' trip, and like, the show takes up so much of our time. So like when it's off, we kind of need to get back to our family and, and you know, like our other friends that we've been neglecting. So I think that's what it is. But we always try to make time for each other and we see each other when we can. 
Do yeah. you agree with that, Larsa? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Lisa and I were, were in a better place today than we were, like, the beginning of the season. I think we kind of started off on not a great rocky. place. <laughs> it was kind of rocky. That's one way to put it. Yeah, it was, it was kind of rocky, but I also feel like when you're not in a good place in your relationship, then I think you're more stressed out, and I think Lisa was, like, not in a great place in her relationship, and so I felt like she wasn't being a good friend to me, and I'm really big on friendships. You know this, Lisa? And so I felt like she was. There's a backstory with this, though, also. No, oh, oh. there is, but. What's the backstory? I want to know. Sip the tea, girl. So I Let's feel like it. you weren't a good friend to me in the beginning. Um, but I, but after. Oh, after... I, I wasn't a good friend to you in the beginning? Yeah. Oh. oh. No, oh. I also you... feel the same way about you. No, no, so no, we're going to agree to disagree. Oh, the backstory. feelings oh. change oh. real it's quick fine. right It's here. fine now. We're good now. But, you know, we've already talked about this. No, I know. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm saying today, yeah. today, we're yeah. in a great place. Great place. Love I you. Feel, I love you. Do, we'll do anything <laughs> for you. However, in the beginning of us filming the show, we were not in a good place. Not. I was kind of mad at you because I felt like you weren't being a good friend to me, and I've always been a good friend to you. And when I saw you go through your situation, I really wanted to show you that I love you and I support you and I'm always gonna be there for you. I'm gonna be your rock for you. Yeah. And I feel like that kind of really got us closer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you know I had your back. I called you every day. It, it 100% percent with you. It 100% did, and I'm so happy that that, I mean, I'm not happy about my situation, but I'm happy that, you know, we got back to where we were before that happened, because we were in such a great place. And I love you. And you, you. You really stepped it up as a friend, and you, really, you were really there for me 100%, and I appreciate and love you for that, but with all due respect, <laughs> oh, you know, we you feel that about me, but I also feel that about you, and that's okay. We can agree to disagree, you know. I, re and I like redeemed myself. Had, what? I redeemed myself. You did, but like you're not perfect either. No. We know that. No, and I'm not I, perfect. I'm not, Nobody's perfect, right? But but, but but you have to also, you know, take responsibility for also things you did. I do take responsibility for the things I did, and I'm sorry about that. But you have to do the same. They still love each other. What's to come on season five of The Real Housewife of Miami? I don't know if my marriage is going to survive. Is there anybody else involved? Because because like, yes. Letty's dating her now. He's dating what? her. My husband's a top plastic surgeon in this town, and I'm his best creation. I love you. Love you too. Everyone loves to underestimate me, and I love to prove everyone wrong. My husband built the perfect wife, and I built the perfect life. <laughs> in the blink of an eye, my life changed. I'm losing my best friend, losing my husband to another woman. That's Lenny. Le voy a dar un batazo. Dale, Nicole. Shove it up. She's. This season on The Real Housewives of Miami. Some put buttocks, I put raspberries. Dale, go. I to the birthday girl. It's like the one you girls have. The difference is, I bought mine. This is like the best representation of Miami that there is. Whose dog this is? Oh my god, he did not pee oh my on god. my Birkin. <laughs> Travel in style, darling. Oh. Welcome to Bahamar. It's a celebration. Yeah. Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> All these. Wrong oh, dog. We need to, as a group, learn how to put each other up on pillars. When they go lower, you go higher. You know what I mean? Like, no? No. Don't look at me like that. You don't tell me what to do, OK? for this slander. Thunder, slander. Oh, yeah, come on, come on. Give it to me, give it to me more. I'm done talking, you sit out. Should I bring out a little violin? All right, all right. You are so pathetic. Ay, por favor. Don't judge, don't judge me. Of course not. Any girl I've dated all said the same thing. You're very difficult. Your dad is perfect, and the bad one is me. You have no filter. Sometimes you're mean to me. You are. No, I'm not mean. What is what is missing? You shut down at night. I shut down at night. Someone called me a week ago and told me you were making out with a man. What? Yeah. She took a photo of it. 
When is this gonna stop? Well, come on, Martina. Julia, I'm done, okay? I'm done. My trainer dropped me, by the way, because when he has him training the mistress. Oh, hell no! Oh, we are fighting now! Oh! I know you want to make it work. I know you'd love to see you guys get back together. That's not going to happen. You bring that girl anywhere near my kids, there's going to be a huge problem. Do you understand me?